Good morning everyone and Happy New Year. We're into January already, halfway through January. Um, I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas and New Year. My name is Laura Stranks and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Thanks for joining me today. Um, we're not doing Christmas cards at least for another 12 months. Um, I think I'm over Christmas for a little while. Um, I'm going to concentrate on some of the new papers and um, embellishments and stamp sets and all in the new mini catalogue and the celebration catalogue. This is a card I made um, about a week or so ago and I'm going to show you how to make it. It's called a double W Fancy Fold card. Um, I'll go through my details at the end of the group today for something different. Um, this has a little tie at the side with some ribbon. And then when you open it up, it's just a W inside here. Very simple to make, um, just quite a few pieces. Um, the back, you've got Rudin to write your greeting and a nice little greeting on the front. Um, this paper is a free celebration cattle, um, item in Australia for every $90 you spend. Um, you can get this pack of paper for free. It's called Flight and Airy. If you have a look in the celebration catalogue, there's some lovely items in there that you can get for your product spend. Um, the pro if you buy products, it can be out of the, mini, the new mini catalogue, the annual catalogue, um, online exclusives, any product from Stampin' Up! And you can earn um, enough dollars to spend and get papers and things for free. Um, I've also, I'm also using today this new... Um, it's in the mini catalogue, the new paper, which is called Perennial Lavender. Very, very pretty. I got the whole suite because I love the embellishments and the um, or everything that goes with it. It's a double stamp set. The two stamp sets that are to go with the suite are this painted lavender, which has got lots of lovely images. There's no greetings on that one, but the one that coordinates with it that does come uh, in the suite is this perennial postage. Um, there's dies with both of them. The dies in this one are these lovely perennial postage stamp dies and I'm using some of those today. I love different shaped um, dies that um, do frames and all for your cards. Super happy with that one. And then the painted lavender has dies as well. It's got this little butterfly stamp here which I'm using today. I've used quite a few of them. It's a double butterfly, so you stamp. It stamps two of them together. And then there's a die to cut it out, which is this one here. And then there's lots of... I'm using this one as well to cut out some leaves. And that's what you get in the, in the bundle. And the double set is in the suite. Um, there was no ribbon. There's embellishments. I'll show you those when we get to it. And... Yes, and the paper as well. So that's a lovely, lovely suite. Love that. So we're, we're using the greeting out of this one as well. I've chosen the Happy Mother's Day because Mother's Day will be here before we know it. So I'm going to do a Mother's Day card. Now I've prepped everything beforehand so you don't have to sit through. Um, I will go through these details now because I know I'll forget at the end and then I can move this little chart out of the road. Um, my Facebook group um, is called Laura's Craft Room Tips and Tutorials. All the PDFs for these and lots of other um, cards, all my YouTube videos uh, have PDFs in this um, Craft Room Tips and Tutorials group. So you're welcome to join that if you just um, ask to um, join. And there's two questions in there you need to ask, to answer, sorry. Um, one is why you want to join the group and the other is um, you agree to the rules. So just make sure if you can't see those questions on your device, uh, try going to a different device. If you're on your phone, try it on a laptop or um, iPad or something else. My YouTube channel today is called Creative Gems. If you're watching, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love you to do so and um, hit the little bell after you've subscribed and that will notify you when I my um, videos are there to watch. I've also got a Facebook page called Cards by Laura um, 
all my cards go in there from my workshops and any other ones that I've just had a little play around with. So you're welcome to have a look in there. That's not one you have to join. You can follow that um, Cards by Laura group if you want to keep following. Um, there's lots of ideas in there as well. So we'll get started. And as usual, I've prepped a lot beforehand. And I've got my measurements here for you. I'll move this out of the road. These are the measurements you'll need, and I'll go through them with you. I've done the scoring, so I'll tell you that as we get to it. Um, my base is, I've used crumb cake. Now, in this paper, they don't mention, always with Stampin' Up, they mention um, the colours on the back of the um, designer series paper. But there's no mention here of uh, crumb cake. So we've got Berry Burst, Blackberry Burst, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Lost Lagoon, Orchid Oasis, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce and Starry Sky. No mention of crumb cake, but the background on these, to me, is close to crumb cakes. And, and this checkered one here, it's the back of one of the others. It's the back of that one, and even that there. <clears throat> it, um, it, to me, it looks like crumb cake, so I've teamed it with crumb cake today. Um, this piece, my base piece, is 11 and a half by 4 and 1 eighth, and I've scored it in half at 5 and 3 quarters. So that's already done. My mats are four of each, and I've chosen um, the colour is Pretty Peacock. And I've got four of these. There'll be two for the inside, two here, and I've chosen a different pattern to the one on the front. So we've got two at the back there, or oh, the mats, the DSP is the different ones. The mats are all the same, um, pretty peacock. There's four of those, two for inside and two for outside. And they measure five and a half by three and seven eighths. The DSP, um, this one is my front one. Uh, inside, we'll do the inside, we'll go in an order here. My inside ones, I've chosen these two. And they measure five and a quarter by three and five eighths. All these are the same size, but I've just broken them up here so you can change your patterns. Um, then the front one, which is this one here, it's the same size, five and a quarter by three and five eighths. And at the back, I put very vanilla. I thought vanilla went better with these colours. So it's five and a quarter by three and five eighths as well. So that's all of those done. My uh, squares, my little squares. I've already done those. Now these, if you don't have a die suitable, I used my stylish shapes dies. Um, so they're the measurements that will fit the stylish shaped so, um, size dies. But if you want to just leave them as cut as these measurements, that's fine without die cutting them. I found it much neater and, and a lot, um, a lot better with cutting them with the dies. So we've got four in the crumb cake, that's the back base. They measure the, the base colour. Um, four of those is two and one eighth by two and one eighth. And then I've die cut them. And then the same as the mats, which is the pretty peacock. They measure one and three quarter by one and three quarter and I've die cut those. And then the squares on the top, you could either use DSP, which this one I did. It's a, a motley pattern DSP in the background there. Um, or you could just do cardstock. I've done cardstock on these and then I've decorated them with the butterflies. Uh, they are one and three eighths by one and three eighths and you'll need four of those. So I've already adhered them all together so you didn't have to watch me. I've put, um, I've stamped the butterflies out of the set, the stamp set in gorgeous grape. And then there's a die that cuts the three, uh, two of them out, a small and a large one. So I cut extras and I put um, three on some and two on some just to decorate them. And I've got embellishments. I'm going to put some embellishments on those as well. Um, my centre strip, which is that big long strip across here, that measures 11 inches by one inch, which I've used um, Pretty Peacock again. And I've scored this. The scoring on that, and I'll tell you now so we don't have to do it again later, the scoring on that is two and three quarters. It's pretty much in half and then fold the two um, back on each other. So it's two and three quarters, five and a half and eight and a quarter. 
and when I fold it I'm going to fold this this way and then fold these two back on each other the two outside bits like so and that's how it will end up when you fold it so that's that piece we'll leave that aside and then a bit of scrap for your decorations which I've done my butterflies on there um, I've done that for my front I've just stamped the Happy Mother's Day and they're those postage stamp um, dies love 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 them and I've stamped a little butterfly but I will put embellishments on that as well and then I've cut out a few of these nice spindly leaves and I'm just going to mount them at the or not mount um, just stick them to the back of this just around the edges somehow but we'll get to that when we do the greeting on the front and then two pieces of ribbon this ribbon is um, an online exclusive it's um, the colour centre stripe ribbon and it's um, pecan pie. So the, the stripe down the middle is pecan pie and it's in a vanilla as well. And they're, they're, the two lengths, um, I've got eight inches length and two of um, because I just tuck them in. Um, some people run it all the way across, but I find that's a waste of ribbon. So I've just tucked them in on the ends. And that gives you enough to tie a decent bow on the sides. So we've got those two. I thought that one went quite well with the colouring of the card. We'll put those aside. And that is all. So if you want to take a screenshot of that, and then I will put the measurements for that in the description box of this video. But you'll also find the entire um, PDF of how to put it together in my files section in my um, craft room tips, Laura's craft room tips and tutorials. So hop in there and join. So we shall put that aside and we shall get started. Now I've already scored the base so we can put the, the mats on that. That was just scored in half at five and three quarters. Move that aside. Just burnish that a little. Now we've got the two inside ones you need to put them on before you put your long strip that one's going there that one's going there that's my front and that's my back so I'll just get my snail and put those in I prefer my snail sometimes sometimes I find the glue if you use too much it ends up warping or wobbling making your um, card a bit wobbly Oh, not wobbly is not the word, but it doesn't lay flat when you, if you've used too much glue. So I'm using my snap or well, my stamp and seal. It's called. Now these leaves, I, I want them running upwards. So I'll make sure I've got them the right way around. Those two will go on there. Very simple to do this card once you've cut all your pieces, but it looks. Looks fantastic when you. It is a little bit thick for postage, so you may need extra postage on it. I'm not sure. It's quite a few layers on it. My leaves are up the right way again. It gives you the one eighth of an inch border all the way around. That's those two. Now we can do the back, which is this one. I'll put all these on first. I even when I when I'm when I'm doing a card, I make sure I prep everything before I before I even start to assemble. If you assemble and then you find you want to change or you've done something wrong, I sort of lay it out on my desk beforehand to just see what it looks like when I would put it together. So. Go through and cut all your pieces first. So that's my back panel. And this will be my front. I really love this paper. It's got, um, and when you look at it, it looks like the, the white is shiny on it. It's not, but it's just, it looks three-dimensional. It's got um, sort of layers of the white. Or like a brush stroke white. The snail is not the best one. Last one was really good, and this one's tying up. And then I end up with glue all over my fingers. 
and that one goes on the front it's directional paper as well so just be mindful if you've got directional paper that's my front I'll leave the, the front um, oh, and I know what I didn't do which we can get this up because we haven't I'll just lift that there I forgot to put my ribbon under I knew I would do that <laughs> I can lift that up and pop that under I'm just going to eyeball where it should go get that stuck under there and then we'll do the back one I'm glad I used my snail and not my glue otherwise I wouldn't have been getting it up without tearing it that does slip under there my other piece yeah, I got that the right way. Slide that one in under there. The number of times I have a class and I say to the girls, don't forget to put your ribbon under. And what does Laura do? Forgets the ribbon. Trying to get the video not too long. And then we waste a bit more time doing it. <laughs> That's fine. That'll stay in there. I might put a little blue dot in under there later, but that's fine. Now we can back on track. We shall do. Now we're up to the middle section um, with this strip. I find the easiest way to do it is line up um, your score line in the center of this. Have your um, B sections up this way your W section, line that, those two score lines up in the centre this way and also right on that score line. Fold these inwards and I am going to use my liquid glue on this. All you want is liquid glue and I'll take the top off first, might help. Keeping that nice and level in the middle. Some liquid glue on that section after you've folded it inwards. I'm going to be quite generous because I want it to make sure it does stick. Now keeping that on that score line and nice and even where you want it in the center and just open that back up and it should just reach to the designer series paper section there. Mine's a fraction short, but it's not too bad. It's probably where the, the scoring. So all we're doing is sticking down that end section here from the score line to the, to the end. And then you can do the same on this side. Fold this piece inwards. Put some glue on that. All the way around. And then open that out, keeping it nice and straight. And it should go to that DSP on that side. I know it mine's a fraction the wrong way, but that's not too bad. I got the other one perfect. So that's those pieces in. And then when you open it up, you'll see it sits like this. So we're going to put the little squares on these four sections in between those score lines. And I only want um, glue in this section here, not top and bottom. So I found the best way to do that. And I'm going to line these up first. I'm going to do one with two, one with three, one with two, and one with three. And you center them between your edge here and your score line. So I find the easiest way is flip that over, line it up so it's um, even both top and bottom there. And put a bit of glue across there so it's only sitting on even if you go a little bit inside that so it's only sitting on that um, arm that's right across and you can flip it back over and if you line it up centered again it'll be in the correct position that's that one same with this one and you've got this first one to sort of go by as a guide where it's going to sit. But go a little bit inside the width of the, um, the cross arm piece. And that way you know it's not going to be overhanging onto your back pieces. 
flip it back over, line it up so it's nice and straight on the sides, top and bottom. Stick that one down. Third one, just making sure I've got my butterflies the right way. That one will sit in the centre of, you've got a score line in the centre there. So line it up with that. This way first. Small glue on there. Doesn't matter if that moves a bit, you've sort of got it, an idea of where it's going to go. As long as it's pretty even along here. I don't mind these colours either. Turned out nicely. And the last one, just make sure I got my butterflies the right way. Hope the weather starts to cool off a little bit now. It's past past the Christmas and New Year. It's should be a little bit starting to cool down a little bit, hopefully. Although I live in Queensland, so who knows what the weather's going to be like. In March this year, I'm going to on stage in Melbourne. If um, if you're a demonstrator, you'll know what on stage is. Um, haven't been for a few years because of COVID, but back on track. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going with a friend. So that's the inside done. I'm going to put some... I might put some little embellishments in here. We've got these new ones. They are so pretty. Um, they're in the mini catalogue with this lavender suite. Uh, and it's these purpley ones. They're called Purple Fine Shimmer Gems. And they're so pretty. They're um, graduated colours in the purple. So I'll put a couple of those, the smaller ones on will use. Just get my pick tool wherever I put it. Over here, um, I might use these. There's one there that I'll use these little light purple ones, and we'll just put one on each of the the little squares. Scatter them around. Put that one up there. And I'll also put some on the front in a minute. So that's the inside done. We can tie this up. Make sure it's enough for a bow. Hopefully my sticking back on, getting it under after worked. I could probably trim a little bit off the bow, but I like it a bit longer anyway. So that's the side. And then we have this a little bit of a decoration on the front I'm probably going to cut these a bit shorter because they're quite long I only want a little little bit showing off the top so I might just cut some off that's joined to that so we could cut it there I'm just going to run a bit of it's going to get glued flat. I've already got this part up on dimensional, so I'm going to glue this flat. So I might just put some seal on the back to stick these on. I don't want a real lot showing. I just want a little bit of decoration up the top. Turn that round the right way. Snip a bit of them off the bottom of that. And I'll put one in the middle. Down a little bit lower. Snip the bottom off. And then we're going to lie this flat. So I'm going to put some more snail or seal around that so it will stick and with a little bit of bulk at the back it'll sit it up a little bit anyway and I'm going to put it right dead centre in the middle 
I didn't want to put too much on the front because I like to see the paper as well. And a few embellishments on the front. And we are done. I'll go the bit bigger ones. Very pretty embellishments. I love, love the colour. So that is my card. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll show you back on the inside. All done. You could put greetings on a couple of these. Um, put a little greeting on any of them and just decorate a couple if you wish. Um, I like it blank in there with just the decoration. That's that one and my other one, which is the same. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I shall put the PDF in my tips and tutorials group, so you're welcome to go in there and have a look. And um, I'll put all the measurements in the description box of the video. And thank you again, again, again for watching. And I'll see you all again next week at 9am Monday morning. Have a lovely week. Bye for now.